Hi, I'm Eric Egley, and thank you for joining me for the first of many Photoshop pointers. I plan on posting a new tip or technique the first Friday of every month, and I'm going to cover both basic and advanced techniques and effects. Uh, the topic of today's uh, discussion is color channels. Now, color channels can open up a whole world of opportunity for enhancing your images. Uh, but first, let's take a look at exactly what color channels are. And for this uh, discussion, we're going to talk about RGB channels only. So let's go over here, and we're going to click on the channel button. And let's take a look at what we have. Basically, uh, Photoshop uses three different grayscale images to determine exactly what the full spectrum of our image is going to be. And if you want to actually take a look at what's happening uh, with the channels, you can go up to your preferences. Okay, take a look at the interface, and you can have show colors, show channels in color, and that'll give us an idea of exactly what's happening with each channel. This is what, and once you combine these, then you get your full spectrum image. And we're going to take that back to our standard grayscale channels because that's how I prefer to work. Okay, okay what we're really dealing with here uh, is we're dealing with color theory. And this is called additive color theory. And basically what this is is with transmitted light. And transmitted light is, uh, you see it all around us every day. It's from your iPhone to your any transmitted light that you see from TVs, monitors, your scanners use RGB transmitted light, uh, our cameras capture it the same way, it's all RGB. So if we have 100% red light, blue light, and green light uh, added together, they create 100% pure white. Okay, so that's the additive color theory uh, in a very basic sense. Now once you add those all together through grayscale images based upon each of those colors, you have your full spectrum image. So that's what we're going to be dealing with today. Um, if we take a little closer look at each of these channels, the red channel, you'll notice that the red, especially with people, has an effect on skin tones because our skin is made up of generally red um, and yellow, but primarily and uh, primarily red. And if we took a, take a look at the green channel, we're dealing with more of the mid-tones, and the blue channel gets into the, those shadow areas and the darker shades that we have in our images. So if you keep that in mind, especially working with people, uh, it, it really helps to determine where you want to start. Um, so what I want to do now is just show you some basic, very simple effects that we can use to, to kick up our image just a, a notch or two. So on this one, I'm going to start out with the green channel because I want to I want to mess around with basically those mid-tones. And remember that when you're working with uh, channels like this, this is totally non-destructive to your original image. And that's how I like to work. I don't like to touch that original image, that background layer. I always work in layers and that way we can get back to our original image if we need to. So for now, let's take a look at that. We're on the green channel, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a select all, or command A. Okay, we see our marching ants there. Okay, and we're going to copy that. We're going to copy just this channel, the green channel. So that would be command C on a Mac, or control C on a PC. And this is very important. This part is very important. Go back up to your top icon, the RGB and click on that so that we activate all the different channels. And now we're going to go into our Layers menu and we're going to paste it. Command V on a Mac or a Control V on a PC. Okay, there we go. And so what I've done is I've made a duplicate copy of that green channel and pasted it into my Layer menu. Okay, so now we have an, a, a Layer menu or a Layer channel to work with. And I always like to name these because once you get a bunch of layers going, you want to be able to get back to each layer quickly and efficiently. So I like to name each one. So that's my green channel. And generally what I like to do is start off, 
by giving this a layer mode so that I can see actually what's happening with any of the uh, filters or effects that I use. Let's go down here and I'm going to use soft light. Okay, and take a look at what happens here. Okay, automatically, without a whole lot of work, what has happened is we have increased the contrast a little bit, brightened up those midtones. Let's take a look at the before and after. Okay, it enhanced some of the lines. And actually, if you take a look down at even the jacket here, it enhanced some of the shadow areas and those midtone boosted up the, the lighter areas. So sometimes that's where I stop. You don't need to go much further uh, a lot of times. You could just stop right there. Okay, but let's, uh, let's keep this going just a little further. And remember, we're just working with that grayscale green channel layer. So I'm going to go up to filter. Slide down here to sharpen. And I'm going to select on sharp mask. Okay, and a lot of times here you can already see some some of the effect taking place there. Um, I like to take this all the way up just to see where I'm going, see see where it ends up. Um, and you can see it's really enhancing the edges, uh, contrast a little bit more. Now on people you got to be careful because what it will do is it'll start blotching up skin too, so you got to be careful of that. But there's there's ways around that. Let's take this. Let's get just a little crazy here. We're going to take it up to right around 400 on the amount of on sharpen. Okay, and there we go. And let's let's do a before and after here. Before, after really enhances all the lines. You even get almost a, a posterized effect on the, on some of the um, lines there also. So from there, now that's not where we need to stop. What we need to do is actually keep going here. Uh, to make sure that we refine this image just a little bit more. So I'm going to adjust the opacity just a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to take it down to 75%. Let's take a look here now, before and after. And I would actually like to soften up that skin a little bit more. And one of the things that happens also, especially with the green channel, is sometimes you lose your eye color because it does block up a little bit in that contrast areas. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to add a layer mask to that green channel layer. Okay, so we're going to come over here and we've selected our uh, layer mask. And remember that we're going to deal with our paintbrush. So go to your paintbrush. Quick key is B. And I'm going to adjust the size of the paintbrush just a little bit. Let's take a look. We're at about 400 pixels. Okay. And remember... Um, when you're on black, it paints out what's on this layer, so we see through to the layer below. White paints it back in. And I always use a tablet because uh, I can adjust opacity based upon the pressure on the stylus. So let's take a look here. And this is just going to bring these, this area back in, show the layer underneath. Okay, soften up that skin because it does get a little bit a little bit too crisp with that effect. So we'll bring that back in. But we're keeping all the rich lines and details that we put in there on the on the hair, the jacket in the background. Let's take a look at it before and after. Before, after. Makes it snap a little bit more. And I usually like to go in and Take that mask all the way off the eyes just to give a little little more color in there. There we go. Alright. So that's one of the techniques you can use to kick up your image just a little bit with color channels. Okay, so there's our final image. Now the one thing that I would suggest doing is trying out different um, layer modes here. Because every one of them has a little different effect. Okay, and I usually like to scroll through these, and you can you can actually scroll through them if you use your your move tool. Go on to your move tool, hold your shift key down, and then tap plus or minus to scroll through those layer modes. Okay, and you can see the different effects that you're getting with each different layer mode. And of course, the other thing you need to do is is try different uh, different filters, because different filters have different effects. 
and uh, you can get some really cool effects by using different different color channels. You don't you don't have to always use the green. Try it with the red, green, or blue, and see what kind of effects. And and you can mix those too with different filters, different effects, and then use your uh, layer mask to then. Um, see through those to, to get all those layers blended and adjust your opacity also. That's our first Photoshop pointers. Thanks for joining me and I hope you join me again for the next time around. If you have any comments or questions please shoot them my way on the blog and please don't forget to check out my website. See you next time.